We have an update to the city assessor controversy in Portsmouth. Tonight, the city voted to rescind its job offer to a candidate just days after an appointment, a man named Anthony George. Dead on your side has learned George has either resigned or been fired from several previous roles. Lauren Moss was at tonight's council meeting for that vote. All new tonight. There was no explanation from Portsmouth City Council about why they wanted Anthony George out just days after they appointed him to the job city assessor. This all started when allegations were brought to light about interim city assessor Janie Culpepper, which led to her firing. City Council then replaced her last Tuesday with Anthony George. We've learned that George had experience as a city assessor, but in two high profile roles, he was either fired or resigned from the position. In 2012, he stepped away from a role as chief appraiser in Washington, D.C. The Washington Post reported his settlements with commercial property owners cost the city $2.6 billion in tax revenue. George was terminated from his position as an assistant chief appraiser in Fulton County, Georgia. It was reported there were concerns he forced lower-level staff to lower property values against their wishes. Wavy discovered this not long after Portsmouth gave him the job. Today, City Council rescinded the job offer. In the public meeting, only Councilman Vernon Tillage Jr. said anything about the situation. In light of what has transpired in the past week and how majority of council was unaware <coughs> of the release of Ms. Culpepper, but only two members of council knew. Tillage then moved to change the personnel committee from Councilman Bill Moody and Mayor Glover to Glover and Vice Mayor Lucas Burke. That passed 7-0. to zero. Each member swiftly left the meeting providing little details about the vote today. Moody did tell us earlier the move to appoint George reeks of politics. Mayor Glover told me that this was a personnel issue and didn't want to expand on that subject. Vice Mayor Lucas Burke told me more could come out in the following weeks. In Portsmouth, I'm Lauren Moss, Tenor on your side.